We are joined by BJP's Vice President and the BJP's candidate from Shikaripura, Mr. B.Y. Vijayendra, who is around in his whirlwind campaign across the state. You are covering six to seven constituencies a day. You are doing almost 30, 40 villages as well. So how, what is the ground feel that you are getting right now for the BJP? This tremendous response across the state and every function, every rallies, whether it's Edirapaji's rally, uh, Bhamaji's rally, every rally has been successful and more importantly, Honorable Prime Minister's rally and Amit Bhai's rally. I think people have already made up their mind. They want to see, a they want to give a clear mandate uh, for Bharati Janta Party. Uh, I am also confident, looking at the response which I am getting, I think BJP will come back to power with absolute majority. There is a push that is needed at this point of time because even if you see the surveys that are coming, it does show that the BJP is still a little far away from the halfway mark at least. You have five days to elections now. It's a tight contest and a very different one in Karnataka as well. A week back, most of the surveys were predicting uh, edge, edge to the Congress party. But the same surveys are predicting uh, a simple majority for BJP. That means to say, from last one week, especially after Prime Minister's uh, rally across the state, there is tremendous response across the state. So we are confident the, the way things are moving from last couple of weeks, BJP will come back to power with absolute majority. There is uh, no question of hunger assembly uh, or uh, Congress party coming back to power. The people of Karnataka will bless BJP again. Uh, I would like to ask you about that because Prime Minister Narendra Modi is on this massive uh, outreach program. We have seen more than 22 rallies across. We'll see one in Bangalore where he's done. At, he's going to do 36 to 40 kilometers in, a sing, in over two days. So, how much of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's impact is going to help the BJP gain in terms of seats? There is no iota of doubt. The way Prime Minister is moving across the state, and the way people are responding for in the Prime Minister's rally. There is no iota of doubt, people will bless BJP because, see, pe people of Karnataka are fed up with this hunger assembly. Mm. They are fed up with this hunger assembly and they have seen, uh, the, the, because the end of the day, state, go, state is paying for that. In the sense, pay, the development work is getting hurt because of the confusion when the coalition government was there in Karnataka. And people are pretty clear this time, they don't want Congress government, they don't want hunger assembly. They want, they want to give a clear mandate for the Bharti Janta Party. But with the Prime Minister's program, when the way people are responding, again, seventh, uh, there's a program in Shumoga also. Mm -hmm. And tomorrow is covering Balari district. Each day is covering more than uh, uh, three to four uh, districts. And that's the reason why I'm telling you, I think trend is picking up in favor of BJP from last two weeks. Let me ask about Shikaripur in the seat that you represent now. You've also been campaigning, but you have been doing touring the state at the same time. Uh, your father has been elected several times from that seat. How, is it, how easy or difficult is it to step into his shoes and to look at the seat? Is it going to be an easy win for you or is it going to be a tough one for you? Let me tell you one thing. Nobody can replace Edirapaji. He is a legend. But when it comes to Shikaripur, yes. I'm blessed to contest from the constituency uh, which has been represented by father from last four decades. I'm really blessed to contest from the constituency. At least I never expected that I'm going to contest from Shikaripur. I'm really thankful to our uh, uh, party high command for giving me this opportunity. Was Varuna your choice? <laughs> <laughs> of course, I have uh, more fans in Varuna also. I don't deny that. Uh, but end of the day, I'm happy that uh, the High Command has given me to given opportunity to contest from Shikaripur. And I, I have covered uh, uh, every villages. On three, on three, three times I have covered all the villages. I've reached every booth in my constituency. All our Karakartas are in a beat mode. They want to ensure that Bharati Jinta Party wins with huge margin. There, there is a feeling, especially in the North Karnataka region, Kalyana Karnataka and Kittur Karnataka as well, that the Lingayats are slightly moving away from the BJP this time. They are upset that the reservation that was given was given as an election poll promise and nothing was done for three years. How are you going to work, on, uh, work along with them? If at all, if Lingayat community has any faith in political parties, only BJP. 
people have not forgotten the way Congress has dealt with Virashwa Lingayat community, whether it's a Virendra Patil issue, the way he was uh, humiliated uh, a few decades back, and the way uh, Sidramaya government, when they were in power, uh, they wanted to come back to power desperately. So they stooped to the level of, you know, uh, dividing Virashwa and Lingayat community. Mm. And people, uh, I mean, at least in Karnataka, uh, people, they don't expect these kind of politics. But Congress, just to, just for the, since they were power hungry, they stooped to the level of dividing Virashwa Lingayat community also. Having said that, not only Lingayat community, whether it's whether in SC, ST, see recently our Basraj Bama Honorable Chief Minister, the way they handled the reservation issue, they have increased uh, uh, SC reservation, they have increased ST reservation, and they accommodated uh, uh, Lingayat and Vakliga, yeah, 4%. So not only Lingayat community, every community is happy with the uh, Bharati Janta Party. More importantly, I agree, Virashwa Lingayat community is a, is a backbone for BJP in Karnataka. And it's very, uh, it's untrue to say that they're unhappy with Bharati Janta Party. But the way you're talking about Mr. Virendra Patil being ousted as a Lingayat leader, as a chief minister, the BJP is also talking about how Mr. Yadurappa was ousted by the BJP and yeah, as a Lingayat leader, how he was treated yeah, as honorable, well. Honorable, I mean, respected Yadurappa ji has made it pretty clear on umpteen number of occasions. He has made it pretty clear resignation was his decision. Nobody forced Yadurappa ji to resign from CM's post. It was his decision. It made it pretty clear, so yeah. the, the question will not arise at all. I'd like to ask you one thing, the Congress manifesto that has come out, they have talked about banning organizations like the Bajrangdal and the P PFI. How do you look at the fact that not only have they equated the two of them and talking about banning Bajrangdal itself? Now, what else can you expect from the Congress party? Firstly, they're not going to come, come, come back to power in Karnataka. Yeah. In, in the country, they're they are totally decimated. They are, not in, they are in power only in Rajasthan and one more state. So in Karnataka also, they are dreaming to come back to power, but that's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to coming back to Bajrang Dal issue, see, Bajrang, Dal, Bajrang is not a Bajrang Dal is not a PFI. So when Congress is, was in power, they, they, they never tried to you know, uh, control Naxalism in, in the country. They never tried to uh, control uh, terrorism in the country. But here is the Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, who successfully, you now when it comes to Article 370, are uh, uh, controlling the Naxalism in the country. But here is the Congress party where uh, they want to ban the Bajrangdal. Bajrangdal, madam, this Bajrangdal is not only limited to Karnataka. This is a Hindu organization which is present in uh, across the country. So where is the question of Congress banning the Bajrangdal? So how do you feel, like, especially when they're talking about targeting it, saying that this is a unit of the BJP and we're looking at... Vinashakale Viprita Buddhi. Vinashakale Viprita Buddhi. That's what I can say. I really feel pity about Congress party. See, this is a party which has ruled this country for the last 50, 55 years. And even today, if you see their manifesto, they are talking about giving uh, uh, free gas, free electricity, uh, 10,000 for youths. But this is a party which has ruled this country, na? Mm. Even today, they're talking about giving freebies. But when they had opportunity to rule, rule this country, they did nothing for youths. They did nothing for uh, poor people. And Mr. D.K. Shuma talks about building more Hanuman temples. <laughs> How do you look at that? It's a big joke. They, I think Congress is totally confused in Karnataka. They're totally confused. Uh, a couple of months back after Sidra Motsava, when Sidra Mayaji celebrated his birthday in Daungere, I think they were, they, they, I think they felt that they're going to come back to power in Karnataka with absolute majority. But now they have realized. They have, now they understood the ground reality in Karnataka. Hence they're talking all this rubbish, banning and, uh, banning Bajrangdal and all this freebies. My last question is, what does the BJP have up its sleeve when you are edging towards voting day and counting day as well? What does the BJP have to finally push itself beyond the majority mark? Narendra Modi ji is a superstar. Narendra Modi ji is a big strength for Bharatiya Jinta Party, not only in Karnataka also. More importantly, our double-engine government the policies given by Narendra Modi ji government and also during Yadiro Paji's tenure as chief minister and also Basraj Bamai's government. 
see we are going before the people on the development plank so definitely we are confident under the dynamic leadership of honorable prime minister narendra modi ji and also under the leadership of edurappa ji and basraj bommai ji we will come back to power with absolute majority well i have to ask you because i now remember the tweet that you put out when mr kharge called the prime minister a poisonous snake the how most, do you react to that most unfortunate part in his honorable prime minister whenever he addressed uh, kharge ji he pays so much of respect to honorable uh, uh, opposition leader but here is the opposition leader who talks all this nonsense about a prime minister who is not only prime minister of this country and also a leader who has been who has been accepted by the world so it's very unfortunate to see karge talking on these lines thank you very much dr prasad